Hey guys, how's it going? So a few weeks back I did a video on installing more memory into my daughter's laptop and I'm going to continue this trend and today I will be adding more storage into it. So I guess let's get right to it. So first thing you're going to do is remove the back panel. Mine is held on with seven screws. And then you got to get something thin enough to separate the back panel from the rest of the computer. And I use a butter knife, which is unconventional, but it works. So this right here is your SSD expansion bay. Right here is your M.2 bay, which mine already has. So since I'm already in here, I will show how to install an M.2 as well. There's only one screw holding it in, and it just pretty much just slides right out. As you can see here, it just has a piece of adhesive on the back of the metal plate holding it on there. I didn't want to really try to remove it, and then to reinstall it, you just got to slide it back in. It'll be elevated a little bit and then just screw it right back down. So first I'm going to remove the cover to the SSD bay and it's held in by four screws and there's one screw that's really tricky and it's right next to the fans. So after you get all the screws out, you can kind of pry it right up and you want to move these connections, the SATA and pretty much the power to the SSD. It's a little tricky. And then the new SSD will go in pretty much the same way. The uh, wires kind of allow it to only go in one direction. So the SSD we're using is a SanDisk and it's only a 240 gig which is more than enough for my daughter. So just pretty much hook up the SATA and the power supply and then it should, as you can see, I'm struggling just to line it up right. There you go. Then pretty much just push it down, it should click and then you want to take the four screws you had. I actually only used three screws because I didn't want to strip the screw out the one closest to the fan because it was uh, very annoying to try and get it back in. So after your screws are firmly holding the new SSD in place, you're pretty much done here. So pretty much just reapply the back panel and we can go on to the next step from there. For the next part of the video, I will show you how to establish it as a new drive. So when you boot up first, it's not really going to show it in the menu or anything like that. So first thing you want to do is go down to the search menu and search create. And it's going to come up with an option as create and format hard disk petition. It's going to pop up this menu here and as you can see it has disk zero and it is blacked out that is going to be your new disk so simply just click right click and it's going to come up with a create a simple volume and then just go through the prompt establish what kind of drive you want it to be well which letter and that's it 
and then it should pop up a little prompt saying it is established down in the uh, what, right corner, right there. So installing more storage in this model laptop is actually pretty simple, as you can see. And I guess depending on what variation you go, if you want to add more to the uh, M.2 or actually the SSD, as you can see, it can be fairly simple. So I guess that's going to be it. And I hope this helps for any future projects you have. And I don't know if you have any other ideas for things for me to do in the future. I guess just leave them down in the comments, and I guess that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye.